Mike was an incredibly intelligent and rigorous thinker, and that not only included the structures, concepts, and forms in his own work, but his relationship to the public was something I think he increasingly became thoughtful about, aware of, and in fact manipulated from the time of his first retrospective that was organized by the Whitney Museum. It became very clear to Kelly that the public's fascination with the relationship of his own history, his own autobiography, and the works uh, themselves became rather sort of paramount in Kelly's ever-evolving relationship to the public. I think much of the work from the 90s going forward, whether it was the exploration of the educational complex to the Candor series and the cities, was in some ways him uh, both embracing and manipulating the public's uh, perception of his personal life and his public expressions. It was the objective of the retrospective to bring this all together, and it did so, I think, with extraordinary clarity, especially at the uh, PS1 venue, because each exhibition was taken uh, as discrete, and to some degree, people are always were trying to kind of understand the last show while looking at the recent show. However, it was left for this show to realize the uh, both depth, the uh, complexity, and the completeness of the uh, Candor 10B. And it seemed to all of us that the opportunity to show this major body of work isolated from the rest of his career, but to use, in a sense, the summary uh, nature of Kelly's uh, investigation as a way to both follow up on the retrospective, but to really, I think, very clearly illustrate the retrospective nature of what Kelly himself was uh, doing. So the relationship of the film to the sculpture was very deliberate. There is no other environment in which the activities of the film are so directly tied to a uh, sculpture as had been achieved in the extracurricular activities with the uh, Candor series. So when you see the film, you'll see activities both on the exterior of the cave and the uh, almost sort of painterly and gestural activities that take place with its relationship to uh, horror films and B-movies, pornography, and then moving into the cave itself with its activation through, quote, this community of friends that are allowed access to this, the most, I should say, secret and in some ways private place where both Superman no longer had his supernatural powers and for Kelly where the public world is shut out and instead it's a very private and very personal place. The inside of the cave brings quite clearly together the Candor and City series both with the bell jar and this rather extraordinary and beautiful uh, collection of naturally occurring riches and golds with minerals deep inside the earth. It brought together other aspects of the cities, the centerpiece held inside the glass dome, a miniaturized version of the capital of Candor. As starting with that, it made sense to work to some degree backwards to create a context for this epic and summary work. 